Hi guys, uh, so we went to the beach yesterday, so I'm going to do my makeup while I'm talking to you because I'm a bit early today and I didn't do my makeup yet. Um, we went to the beach yesterday and I gave a shout out to all the vloggers and stuff because of how difficult it is to actually vlog in South Africa and I mentioned how your stuff might actually get stolen. So I wanted to also mention that this YouTubing thing is really not easy, um, especially for South Africans. If you're going to be um, having your camera or your phone exposed in a public place, you might actually get robbed. And also it's nerve-wracking. It's nerve-wracking to speak into a camera and it's also more nerve-wracking to actually um, do that in front of other people and where people can see what you're doing so all out to the people that do this all the time all out to the people that vlog in public places I feel you another thing is that um, the data here in this country is really expensive What was I going to say now? Uh, uh, YouTube doesn't actually promote South African YouTubers. So if you're in a different country, you won't easily see any South African stuff. You won't easily see it as a suggested video or let it show up in the trending section or anything like that. It won't really um, be visible to, to other countries. And... Um, I think that's actually sad because I think we've got some good quality um, YouTubers like Michael Cost is a South African YouTuber and he does very well and we've got uh, Jen and Mad Jen, yeah, Jenna Mad and they're also doing very well but they're only doing very well for South Africans and I would love to see people like that go bigger um, there's another Port Elizabeth here and that sounds weird well, anyways, there's another Port Elizabethian called um, Sheldon Zam. So I'll insert all their links in this video. But yeah, it's, it's difficult. So if you do come across my video or any of their videos, please support. It's difficult to do collaborations. It's difficult to, to find out what other YouTubers in our country are currently doing or to to come up with something new that hasn't been done before because most of the stuff that's trending on our YouTube, like if I go in and I click on trending, it's TV shows that show up. It's it's like dancing shows and stuff that's on TV. It's not other YouTubers that are coming up in the trending. It's not other, um, we don't have binds. We don't have things like that done by South Africans. So. We don't have examples to follow from our own country. We have to look at the rest of the world and look for inspiration there of things that we can do. And I think that's quite sad. Some of uh, it would be nice if all the South Africans can come up with something that's like very proudly South African, and um, hopefully we'll still get vines. We'll still get. Um, a lot more collabs. I have seen a few, but it's very few. So hopefully we're, we, we're busy growing. I do believe we're busy growing. And I hope that hope that we, we just like explode into the YouTube market and scene, market scene, I don't know, one of those two. Either the YouTube market or the market, what? The YouTube scene. So anyways, I hope that we, we go in with a bang and we explode and that something will happen and YouTube ZA will see that we are trying and it will like nudge us along and help us. So yeah, let me finish my makeup because I have no idea what I look like now. I'm very tempted to keep looking in the little screen that shows me, but I'm trying to maintain eye contact, which is also another difficult thing to do when you're a start-up YouTuber is to not look at yourself, it's to look at the actual camera and to actually speak into the camera like a normal person because you tend to be a very happy, clappy person in real life or very extravagant and then the moment that you know that the camera is recording, you tend to talk.
talk like this because you are nervous and you don't want to look like you are a crazy person. So on that note, I'm going to bid farewell.